Hi everyone. How's your day going? Is it going really well? I hope so. If you're new here, I'm Melanie and I do a variety of different videos. I do everything from small business hauls, trying things on camera for the first time, vlogs, story times, random hauls, chatty videos, concert type videos and so much more. I'm not editing videos, I've said that in about 40 videos by this point, but just in case you're wondering why I might not edit something out, I mean who knows what's going to happen, that is why. It is currently half past five, the lighting outside is obviously pitch black and I've got a light, a ring light, not a box light and the light in the ceiling. I know it's not very bright but this is the only time I've got to do this um, and I need to do it. I've just filmed and uploaded something else to get it off my phone because my phone is full again and I can only film a certain amount then I've got to get rid of what I've filmed then I could film again it's a little bit of a nightmare now I did start to unbox this yesterday I had a little bit more natural light I mean not much, well I think it was like half past two so there was a bit more natural light although it wasn't the best so if the lighting isn't great in here I'm really sorry there's nothing I can do about it I'm doing the best with what I've got but I want to open this because obviously I want to be able to use what's inside. So it is from Pause and Pause Boutique. On Sunday I got a email saying it's the last few hours of 25% off. And I was like, what? Went on. I wanted to get her a couple of harnesses. Um, all the harnesses are Pause and Pause Boutique. There's She's got about six or seven of the original harnesses. And then she's got two of the tougher trail ones or tough trail ones. I personally prefer the tough trail ones and that's what she predominantly wears. A couple of weeks, well maybe three or four weeks ago, I had to put one of her other harnesses on because both of the tough trail ones were in the washer and I found it really hard to put the other ones on because you put it over the head. Whereas the tough trail ones, you can fully undo it and just clip it on. And also there's a lot of other added bonuses to the tr tough trail ones. Like there's a handle on which when I first got them I was like, yeah that's hilarious never going to use it yeah do but use it i mean if you know what huskies are like you that is used quite often um they're a lot tougher um they're less likely to get dirty or stained because the material's totally different they seem to be more comfortable not that the ones aren't comfortable but they're easy to put on they do have reflective strips on them and i just prefer them um I'm still going to keep some of the ones that she's got that aren't tough trail because you never know when I might need to use one but I am going to donate at least three of them um, to the RSPCA because obviously they're always in need of things like harnesses and collars and things like that so when I went on there's a few things that I obviously I'm not editing I can't edit out that that goes on a lot so as you know we've well, lived on the street you'd know it's quite an issue with some neighbours that don't like it I mean I don't know why they don't go and tell them but then you probably wouldn't um, but basically the harnesses that I wanted didn't seem to be included in the 25% off now when you looked at the 25% off it never said it wasn't for the entire website it was very misleading it was for selected items which again it didn't tell you what because I put one item in which is in here then another item the discount didn't come off the other item I changed that for a different item didn't come off that so it was very difficult to use the 25% off to spend enough to get free shipping which is £40 now the contents of this was like 56 ish 54 to 56 and I got it for just over 40 with the free shipping it was 48 hour tracked free tr shipping but every time I have bought from ppb post and post boutique it's always been shipped 24 hour and i've always got it the next day so i did get this on the monday tuesday it was shipped monday i got it tuesday it is now wednesday so it is super fast turnaround and i do like the tough trail harnesses there are other dog businesses that do these style of harnesses but obviously once you've got a small business that you like i mean they're not that small they're stocked in pets at home now um, you stick to them but all and I've never looked at the other brands patterns or designs because sometimes there's only like one from a new range that I really like so you know it is okay to shop around but I know what size she needs so anyway it does say on it the dog got mail again and the boxes are super cute so obviously I've took most of these things out so this isn't how it arrived it arrived a little bit nicer so you do get 
care card and everything. Feel free to pause and look at them and then there's this. So I have messed around with this because the current Christmas range doesn't have the large collars. Now she's a large collar and a large harness. Um, only just like she might get in the medium at a push with the harness because there's a crossover in between the sizes. Do you know, like the medium goes into the large size, do you know, like the start of the large size. But I always get a large because they both fit her. I think, but I've had to get the medium, and that's why I've done that to see if it'll fit her because if this doesn't fit her, it will be going to the RSP. So yeah, it would be harnesses that I'm then going to donate. But what I did show you in the video yesterday is I have this one from last Christmas. If you remember, I got her the matching harness to this, but I never bought her the collar. Then earlier this year, when I think I placed either my second or third order with them, this was in the sale for like £6 or 6 something, because they're normally 12 So I got her this. So even though the Christmas harness from last year isn't a tough trail one, I am going to keep that and she will be using it, although I could donate it because she now has a new Christmas one. Um, but if this collar doesn't fit, this one will, but I feel like it's going to fit. Now the difference is obviously the length. Um, this feels like, this feels like it's a thicker material there. I don't know if you can tell. And also it is wider, but I'm hoping this fits her. But it is a thinner colour for what she normally gets. But it's interesting to see if it does fit her in a medium. Um, but there is a crossover in between the sizes, just. So it might fit or it might not. Now, I do have an issue with this second product. Now, like I said, I was trying to get it so I would spend 40 or 42 Like, I didn't want to spend much more than 45 But obviously, if I was going to get two tough trail harnesses, it would have been more than that. But that would have been fine because I do want another tough trail harness because sometimes both of them are filthy and like I said I do have other ones that I could put on her but I just prefer the fitting of the tough trail one so I bought this it didn't say anything about it being medium sizing so this is potentially not going to fit her not because she has a fat neck because she's a husky she has a double coat and her head is the fluffiest part of her body so this may not fit the husky but like I said, it, it will go to charity. I mean, these are £8. I know I got 25% off, but, you know, it's quite pricey that for something that my dog potentially isn't going to fit around her. Now, there's different ways you can do this, but obviously, like that, there's more chance. But I've got to tie it. She's, she's just fluff. So this might have been a mistake getting this. But like I said, there is going to be an RSPCA donation of some collars and not collars um because i don't have spare collars but of at least three harnesses if not four um i am going to keep a couple like i said i'm going to put one in my car for emergencies um i'm going to have i want two in the house one in the car basically so anything that's left can go to charity because well rspca is a charity so obviously if i can't get this around her big fluffy neck because it is just fluff um this will be going to charity and there'll be another dog that will get to enjoy it hopefully or give it to the charity shop either way because i don't know if rspca would put this on a dog because like they never ask for things like this they ask for collars and harnesses and blankets and things like that so it might go to the charity shop um i will check with them because obviously they are there is some things going to them but obviously if it won't be used i might as well donate it to charity because then someone else can buy it and then the money can go to that charity and then so there is quite a few well i don't know how many there is i think there's only two or three in the tough trail pattern now you can get this design in the other harness and this harness but all the designs aren't available in tough trails um there's a navy cute one that I was tempted to get, but I'm sick of people thinking she's a boy without checking because she's got pink harnesses on and girly things. But I know boy dogs can wear the girly stuff. But this is the one I've gone for. Um, I'm excited to get this on her. That's why I'm filming the video because I basically want to get her in it. Because obviously it's like the second, well it's, we're about to go into the third week of November. I want to get as much use out of it because obviously when it's end of 
December that's going to be it as far as the harness is concerned obviously it will go away till next year I'm not going to throw it out but it's got the handle on it which believe me that comes in handy this this is so sturdy and then you can lock that so it doesn't unclip so if you've locked it it doesn't open but if you unlock it, it obviously oh, I'm not even showing it so if it's locked you can't accidentally open it because she used to have a harness before I was getting it from Paul's and Paul's Boutique where it was just one clip a dog once bit on it and it opened it the harness then started to come off and I walk up on the harness the lead on the harness I had to dive on her she because she panicked she almost panicked and shot off and if she would have done the harness would have come off with the bloody lead so I like, this is one of the features that I like that you cannot undo it unless you unlock it but obviously it is clipped in elsewhere but the one that she had on wasn't so at the harness with the matching collar which I'm hoping fits I mean if it doesn't then this is the one she'll wear with it and because of her fluff you don't really see her collar that much so you can just see it's festive so it doesn't matter if it doesn't if I have to put that on instead of that and then the bandana which I think out of everything that's the least likely to fit um, they do lots of things on there they do leads the leads I feel are quite pricey and also because she's strong and she often pulls the lead or I have to grab it with both hands and it goes through my hand I want something that's not going to give me burns the one that I've got does sometimes really hurt it. they do these really nice rope ones and they're £25 but I think they're only 5 foot and the one I walk on is 6 foot and that's the perfect length for me because if she's too close to me and she's pulling my back hurts really badly um, but they do loads of things they do pullovers they do um, the little um, bow ties they do dog bowls, they do dog toys, they do bags, like you've seen the bag that I sometimes use, I actually won that. Um, they do other designs of that bag, colourways, color they do other bags, they do human apparel, you can buy stuff that matches the dog stuff, like I think there's a jumper that matches this harness, and oh there's a beanie as well, and I almost got that, I should have got it. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea matching her, but anyway... So that is my Paws and Paws Boutique. Like I said, they are really well made. Like, she is insanely strong. She pulls me, she leaps all over the place. And none of these have ever, like, broken or come apart. It does say that nothing's indestructible, but she hasn't pulled anything apart. And with how strong she is in the things she does, like, if it was going to rip, it would. Obviously, over time, it's going to put pressure on it and pressure on it and pressure on it, and it might eventually... Um, and I do want to add more harnesses and like I said I was disappointed that it insinuated it was 25% off everything when it was the Christmas stuff and I was going to get the Christmas harness anyway and it was getting closer and closer to Christmas I was like if there's no decent discount codes of at least 15% then she would just be in the one that she had last year it doesn't really matter um, but I did like this one and I think they do the one that she had last year but they don't do it in tough trails and I wouldn't have got that one because I have it already. Although if I did get it in the design, if they did do it in Tough Trails, I would donate the other one. So it wouldn't matter either way. But they did a red tartan one, but apparently that sells out. But I wanted something that shows that she is a girl dog. Although the second harness that I did almost got is a teal colour. Um, or is it turquoise? Because I like them both. But anyway, she will be getting another Tough Trails harness in the new year. Hopefully there's like a new year sale or something. But yeah, that is it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. If you're new to my channel or you watch my videos but you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to press the notification button. That way you'll get an alert when I upload. I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you very much for watching.